See you later. Goodbye, Georgie. I've had enough of your games, Kala. Tell me what you've done with my stone. I thought your business was simply smuggling cocaine, Karzak. Why are you so interested in that stone? Either you tell me what I want to know, or Pablo here will make you talk. Okay. Well, I figured someone at the university would be able to help. So I had a word with one of my girlfriends, and she told me her boyfriend was a lecturer. I... I sent a stone to the Department of Ethnology. You know, I figured it was South American, so... You're not buying this, are you? That's enough! I don't have time to listen to your mindless prattle. We'll leave you to think it over. Come the morning, you'll be ready to talk. I'm trying to find my girlfriend. She's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah. It was our first day back together after many months. That's too bad. My God, that's depressing. I grabbed the flask and was struck by a powerful smell of absinthe a highly potent and illegal alcoholic drink. Now I had another lead. I could either go back to Ubier's house or visit the Glees Gallery. The Glees Gallery had style and class but very few customers. Are you Mr. Glees, the owner? Good God, no. Uh, then I guess that must be him over there, right? Your powers of deductive reasoning astound me. Have you heard of Professor Oubier? Yes, of course. I was at his house earlier. If you're going to drop names, you could at least name one worth dropping. I thought Oubier was a well-respected man. Why, his last book was nothing but pseudo-intellectual claptrap. The demented ramblings of a drug-dependent has-been. What's that you're drinking? I'm not sure, but I have a suspicion it might be urine. Glees can't expect a favorable criticism of his gallery when he serves this muck. Would you give me your opinion on this pot, sir? Hmm. Yes, very rapouche. Rapouche? Hideous. What the hell do you think you're doing? You smashed my pot. Certainly, it was not only worthless, it was ugly and offensive. To you, maybe. Believe me, I was doing you a favor. I wasn't going to waste any more breath talking to that pompous blimp. Maybe I could turn the situation to my advantage and at the same time, get my revenge. 